about 1 a.m. and I just booked the bolt and we're gonna go to Huai Huai Kuang Market unless I butchered the name wrong so I'm pretty sure I did but anyways stay tuned we'll be right back Oh, best driver number one <laughs> so 15 minutes to get here on the motorbike not bad about uh, two dollars for the ride and it's super cheap um, just a word of advice if you guys are afraid of bikes I would definitely not recommend that because uh, some of these drivers are just in a rush to get as many um, rides in as possible so they'll just uh, they'll just go like really really fast and they'll uh, they'll run through the lights and stuff uh, I mean for us in the west it's a kind of a big deal if you're running through the lights but out here it's kind of normal so it's uh, if you're scared of bikes I wouldn't recommend taking a motorbike taxi okay we're, we're up here at the market now I'm gonna stop yapping show you around a little bit Some clothing stores. Some fruit stalls. Smells good. Some of that boiled chicken we had earlier. Oh, nice bite. I think that's it. That's pretty much just the restaurants down there. Yeah, we'll make our way back down there actually. That smells so good. Uh, it was just some barbecue on charcoal. like a lot of clothing out here and you have the occasional uh, electronics and uh, such I wonder what time they close because it's 1 a.m. and no signs of closing yet there are lots of places you can get your nails done and like spa like places lots of female uh, stores for female accessories and 
like fake nails and clothes and food. The food looks good. They're so nice, like this, I hit this guy while walking and the guy tells me sorry, but I'm sorry mate, I'm in your country. Stay tuned, maybe we'll come back and try some of this. Definitely, uh, definitely not a touristy spot because I'm probably the only foreigner out here. Do you have Rolex? No, I no have Rolex. No copy. A lot of them are afraid to uh, show replicas on camera because uh, the police are cracking down on selling fakes and uh, copies. So as soon as they say camera, don't have copy. But when there is no camera, they'll uh, they'll bring them out. Place had good AC. I could feel it. Ooh, that looks so good. Earlier, I saw a chunk not even as big in uh, MBK, and it was about thousand bucks. Here, it's about half the price, and it was much bigger. So. It pays to go to places where uh, tourists don't necessarily visit. Some chicken feet, which is actually surprisingly good. Uh, if you're from the west like I am, you might think it's not, but it's actually pretty tasty. Okay, let's see if we can get through this traffic jam. It's 
nice not having the sun, but like it's not much cooler. I'm telling you, man. It's still fairly humid and uh, fairly hot. The boys in the orange will come back later for a ride to go home. Barbecue it looks good. I think the I'm pretty sure the last item on that grill was chicken, but being a stupid tourist right now, just crossing the street when I want to. Probably shouldn't do that. One thing you see very often is a lot of the teens or the younger Thai people tend to be very hip and they have these uh, very unique styles, uh, absolutely uh, not the norm when uh, you compare them to the older people, but it's cool. Swati Kap, how are you? Later I come back, I come back. More clothes and uh, let's see. So the other side of the street was uh, definitely busier when it came to the stalls. This side seems to be more uh, clothing and services. Might be time for a haircut, man. show an overview of the market here since this is a high point amazing man this city literally never sleeps any, well, I wouldn't say any other place, but most places you go, like, you know, they have a time where things have to start shutting down. Out here, that's not the case. Some more street food, clothing. Here's something that's really changed since the last uh, four or five years. Uh, yeah, so pot was not legal my last visit. And now since uh, it's been legalized, you see a lot of uh, products that are either made by hemp or a lot of dispensaries actually selling the cannabis itself. More clothes. 100 bucks. Not bad at all, guys. Four bucks. I mean, sweaty cap. Of course, it's hard to find something my size, but you know, 
Um, if you're more in the norm, high end weight, you can definitely find lots of cheap clothing out there. Nice barbecue. Yeah, like I said, it's mostly um, clothes on this side. We got the foods on the other, but still interesting. Very interesting to walk through. And to be honest, I haven't even seen a single, uh, single tourist. It's just I hope. There you go. You see the pot products. Little soy here. That's pretty much it. There's a couple more stalls down there. I'm just gonna walk down. I'm just gonna walk down and see if uh, we can find some something not too heavy to eat. Maybe I'll just try some uh, some barbecue stuff. I don't know. We'll see. Dorian. Some fried stuff. Sorry, cup. Barbecue. Prices out here are like extremely cheap compared to uh, other places. Like they're selling Dorian 230 baht per kilo. And uh, they were selling like one little nugget at uh, MBK for, uh, for like a thousand baht. So it's really, it's worth it to come out and check out these places. But yeah, like I said earlier, I haven't, not, I have not seen a single tourist. I'm pretty much the only one out here. So it's a little bit interesting for them as well, not just me. When they, uh, when they see someone walking through, nice little flower shop. Look at that. Across the street. Or should we continue on this side? I'll cross it on the way back. If you're looking for a warm tropical place, Bangkok definitely does not disappoint. On the bike it was really nice actually, you get some breeze rolling through, but now that I'm walking I'm just sweating hard. This place looks nice. 
pretty good at shot. I don't know what they were selling, but they are open 24 hours a day. I could tell that. There's much ahead, so I'll just turn back right here. Wait for the. I'm gonna pull a, another shitty tourist move and cut through the traffic when there's a good chance. There's a police car coming through. And the mufflers they put on their car bikes out here is just uh, I don't know how they mod them off but they sound like big bikes but like they roll up and they're like 300 cc so I got a natural shine from my sweat <laughs> Cute cat, man. That cat was so cute. So many cats, so many cats. They're just chilling here with the motorbike taxi butt guys. Take like a fresh market, get your veggies and uh, fruits. I think what it is is uh, restaurant owners and uh, and staff come out and buy their uh, produce late at night, like right now, so they can work uh, during the day and. And uh, yeah, keep their restaurants open. Sweaty cop. Some produce. Yeah, these people might be thinking like, what is this crazy fat doing? 
walking through this side of town, especially this particular part of the market. I think I think we've came far enough. It's time for me to head back towards the main strip of the market. I'm not sure if these places are closing or they're, they're opening. We did just walk this strip so. Get to the other side, take a look at their menu, possibly get something. Hello, sir. Hello, sorry, Little spot. It's kind of hot pot type of type of food. I want to check out the stalls because sometimes you get these uh, hidden gems. They don't necessarily have a. Sometimes you get these spots that don't have a store, but they actually serve great food. And I'm not afraid of trying. I'm not a big fan of horror, so I'm just gonna skip that. Okay. Oh yeah, maybe we'll get something here. Chicken. Okay. Uh, take away. Uh, here. Okay. Sit down. Can I film? Oh, inside. Okay, no problem. I'll try to link the spot in the in the video. So when you guys come out, you can try it yourself. Cup and cup. Nam Kang. Chai. He asked if I want some ice. Huge little beer. I think it's about three bucks, ninety bucks. If I'm mistaken. Three bucks for guys. I think Thailand is probably the only country where you get uh, ice with your beer. But I'm not complaining, it's super hot. And toilet paper instead of paper towel. It's so so down to earth guys it's just amazing place i don't think i've ever came out here and been disappointed so. i think little bro over there is cooking up my uh, pad thai Two things we never do in the West, ice and a straw for your beer. 
breaking all the rules tonight. something 20 bucks it's a sweet old lady you know can't say no it's only a dollar nice let's look at this <laughs> beautiful got the rice noodles Oh, I forgot to ask for it spicy, but that's all right. They have the condiments here, and we can do just that. So we'll do some of this ground up chili peppers. Some of this uh, This is like I think fried Chili peppers, if I'm not mistaken. There you go. Nam Jane, Nam Jip, and peanuts. Get some of that peanuts in there. Looks good. Just put the lids back. Definitely not the not the best pad thai ever I've ever had, but it's pretty good for two dollars. Okay. Again, most things are two bucks, so. <laughs> I always see this around, but uh, I never knew what it is. But it's uh, it's actually white sugar. Check out the last video if you haven't yet. Had a crazy ride on the motorbike. Wasn't too crazy. Not like the, not like tonight's ride, but it was a fun one for sure. The fish sauce did make it a lot.
Here's another fun fact for you. <clears throat> a lot of people actually don't really use chopsticks. They use a spoon and a fork. And unlike us in the West, where we grab and scoop with the fork and have our soup with the spoon, they actually do the opposite. They use the spoon. Excuse me. They use their spoon for scooping and they use their fork to pick apart say a piece of meat or something and load up the the spoon with their fork so when you go to these places where they don't see a lot of tourists they always look at you when you're using uh, I don't know actually maybe I'm just overthinking it but they do tend to comment on it a couple of my Thai friends have at least when you use a uh, Alright, that's it for tonight, guys. I am stuffed and I'm walking on the side that sells clothes mostly because I don't want to be tempted to get a dessert or something like that. It's quite late. But that was a pretty decent meal considering, like, a, pretty much a teenager made that. So, not bad. I give him an 8 out of 10. But it was my fault I should have asked him to make it spicy because I do like uh, I do like my Thai food with a kick anyways if you like the video please like it subscribe leave a comment and we'll see you in the next one all right cheers